So first, before you can install Dark Wallet, you will need Google Chrome. So I already have Google Chrome installed in Ubuntu Linux. And once you have Chrome installed, you can go to the Dark Wallet website, which is at darkwallet.is. That's .is. And in order to install it, simply click on the download link. Click download. You can either download the zip version or the tar -GC version, doesn't matter and that will be downloaded to your downloads folder. So now I'll go ahead and go into my downloads folder and you'll see that I have darkwallet 010.zip. Right click that, select extract here, and that will give you this darkwallet folder. Now if you open up the readme file, it gives you some instructions for running it and it shows you that right now they're only supporting an extension for Google Chrome, which is why I'm not using Firefox. And so I just wanted to show you, walk you through exactly how this works in Chrome. So as I say, we're going to go into extensions, we're going to enable development mode, and then we're going to click on loading an uncompressed extension. So back in Chrome here, we can go to the top of the screen and under the tools section, we select extensions. Make sure you check this box for developer mode. Click on load unpacked extension. And this will open up a file selection dialog. Go to your downloads where you downloaded and unarchived the dark wallet folder. Open up the uncompressed dark wallet folder and there won't be any files that are obvious for you to select. You're actually just going to have this file folder open and then you're going to click on open. And that's it. Now you should have Dark Wallet installed in Chrome. Now that you have Dark Wallet installed, we can go ahead and create a new Dark Wallet wallet. So click on the upside down triangle and select create wallet. Now, as I say here, keep in mind that this is alpha software. It could be a bit buggy. Bitcoins that you send to your dark wallet could end up getting lost due to some kind of bug. So if you do choose to use real Bitcoins, make sure that you are using very small amounts of Bitcoin to mess around with it. If you just want to try out the software, you can also use testnet. So let's go ahead and do that for now. And select create new wallet. Once you've created your new wallet, you'll also be given a seed, which is some information that would help you recreate this wallet if you needed to in the future, and you'd use this restore from a seed button in that instance. Now go ahead and give it a name. As I mentioned before, there is going to be a seed that allows you to recreate your wallet if necessary in the future. So this is the seed, it's going to be comprised of 12 words, and you can go ahead and copy these 12 words. This is a secret that you want to keep to yourself, and you can go ahead and store that somewhere safe, either in an encrypted offline volume or on a piece of paper that you can keep somewhere safe, something along those lines. Once you've put your seed somewhere safe, you can go ahead and click on continue. And now Dark Wallet will prompt you to confirm that you have written down your seed somewhere. And that's it. Now you have your new wallet set up. This is a testnet wallet. And you can start sending and receiving Bitcoins and exploring the Dark Wallet graphical user interface.